Commuting during the winter months can often be a struggle. Whether there's sleet or snow, delays are inevitable. Suffolk News reporter Dan Lamparello joins us live now here in the studio to explain how commuter rail customers might see fewer delays this winter. Dan, what kind of work is being done? Well, Dan, the company that runs the Tease Commuter Rail Service is making a lot of preparation before winter sets in. Although it might seem early, crews begin preliminary preparations back in August to make sure things were ready for this winter. Everything from heating units to brakes have already gotten the once over to ensure that passengers won't be left out in the cold. The sound of machinery fills the MBTA's commuter rail maintenance facility every day as crews work to keep trains up and running. It's a sound most riders will never hear, but for the Mass Bay commuter rail, which runs the T's purple line, it's a noise that means passengers are being kept safe and comfortable. Making sure that when they, they get on a coach, it's properly heated or properly cooled, so they have a comfortable ride, and of course, getting them to where they need to be on time. Although the MBCR is working around the clock to keep their fleet up and running, no one can predict what Mother Nature has in store for New England. As winter approaches, commuters like Dan Conley, who takes the train from Lowell to his job in Boston, are reminded that delays come with the weather. Cold is definitely the reason why it happens, though. That's, I mean, usually with rain, it's fine. So in the summer, usually you don't have to worry about a delay, unless it's, of course, some sort of incident that happens. Um, but in the wintertime, that's when the delays will happen. Last winter, the commuter rail boasted a 93% on-time performance rating. MBCR is looking to match or exceed that number this year. We're typically running about 93, 94 uh, percent so far. The winter has been very kind so far, so we really have not been challenged yet. Uh, unlike last year, we had several challenging days. As the MBCR prepares, commuters will be expecting one thing. Results. That's what I'd be looking for. Bernie McCall also explained to me that the MBCR has received a lot of new equipment over the past few months, including some new coaches and a new locomotive. He believes this will not only aid in on-time performance, but also give commuters some added comfort. Dan, hopefully with all this added preparation, commuters riding the rails will see some much-needed results when it comes to their commute. Well, between preparing for the winter and preparing for an extended hours, the MBTA is certainly going to have its hands full. So thank you very much, Dan. Crews will continue to prep equipment up until the first snowfall when they will make their way outside to keep the tracks clear for trains.